This is Dakota News Now, your first alert station. It is 6 o'clock. Good evening and thank you for being with us. I'm Cordell Wright. And I'm Sam Wright. It's been almost 10 years to the date since Rachel Syriax went missing in the Huron area. The mark is being used by law enforcement as a call for information by the public. And by her family as yet another reminder that Rachel is missing from them. Cooper Seamer joins us with our top story at 6. Good evening, Cooper. Sam and Cordell, a case that's been active for a decade now is still in the minds of those at the Attorney General's office. While there is some still, well, there still is some information coming in, it's not enough to help solve the case yet. They're looking for the public's help. For Attorney General Marty Jackley, the case of Rachel Syriac's disappearance is fresh again in his mind. Jackley was Attorney General when Syriac first went missing on November 13th, 2013. A case that's still active with tips being reviewed. I had an opportunity when I became Attorney General again to sit through a debriefing with some of the developments that have happened over the last couple of years. Uh, there aren't any strong leads right now, but as information comes in, we follow up on those like we would any other case. Syriax was last known to be driving her husband Brad around the Huron area almost 10 years ago to the date. In a release, the Attorney General's office notes that Brad was the last person to know where she was. The pickup truck that Rachel was driving was found about a month after she disappeared near a bee farm in the Huron area. Rachel's mother Mary says the mother of two was never shy and always outgoing. She was a tomboy and she was always on the go it seemed like. And she really loved her children. But, I mean, she was fun to be around. She believes there are people out there that have information on what happened to Rachel and wants them to come forward. We need to just bring her home. I mean, I'm not going to ever give up. So, I mean, if, if it's not this year, I'll, I'll still be hanging in there. I'm never going to give up. Jackley says even though Rachel went missing 10 years ago, he doesn't believe the case can't be solved. All his office needs, he says, is help from the public. Uh, I think it's solvable. Uh, it's time to be solved. And we're just asking for the public's input. If there's any little thing that people know about. Now, Jackley is asking anyone with information about Rachel to contact the South Dakota Division of Criminal Investigation at 605-773-3331. Folks can also contact local law enforcement with any tips. Sam and Cordell, 